Hey, what's going on guys? Dan here and uh today I got a tutorial for you guys on how to make that intro that I uploaded a couple of days ago. And uh this will be made in After Effects, so this is what you're kinda looking at. This is the file that I have. So yeah. That's how many layers you're kinda looking at. Not too many, but and um yeah. I I would say uh this is fairly simple to do. So um even if you're not really familiar with this program, I think you should be able to do it just following these steps that I tell you. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, so first, what you want to do is create a new solid and uh, make it a black or dark gray. And uh, what this will be is, I have this open, it'll be the first color that comes up, or the first color that starts with. So you can make it whatever color you want and uh, I'm just gonna stick with black again and you wanna create th uh, three more different solids and those will just be the three different colors that are coming in so I'm just gonna quickly create three different solids I'm gonna stick with the color blue again you can do whatever color scheme you want so I'm just going with blue and uh, make it a bit darker and just a bit more darker again so yeah so there you go we have three different solids uh what you want to do is drag drag the black solid up, uh on top of all of them then your lighter color on top of all of them or on top of the two different colors and then the middle color in the middle so it should be black light a bit darker darkest and uh, what you want to do now is uh, you want to apply the effect called um, Radial Wipe. And where you can find this is Effect Transition Radial Wipe. And you'll see what this does is it creates a radial wipe like that. And I'm just going to put this on quarter. The quality will be a bit worse, but just because it won't lag. But uh, yeah, so you'll see it creates a radial wipe. And from here on in, it's kind of simple. Uh, you just want to keyframe stuff so I I'm going to show you uh, how I keyframed it so at 0 seconds I just want to keyframe it move it about half a second maybe you can move around whatever you want and just put up to 100 so now if you see for half a second it will just go ready to wipe like that and uh, what I did as soon as it as soon as the transition ended I started the other one so um Remember, you're doing this on the dark gray solid, and then you want to go on the lighter color. So on the lighter color, you want to add the same effect. But uh, this time, you want to make it go counterclockwise. So on wipe, you just want to go counterclockwise. You want to keyframe it at uh, you want to keyframe at the beginning, and then move around another half a second, and just put on 100. This may be a bit too quick, but um, just for tutorial, you know, just for tutorial, I don't really mind. So you have that now. You can make it however long or however short you want. And uh, we'll do that again. So as soon as it ends, you want to go in the middle color. Apply the same effect. Keyframe it. Start at zero. Move about half a second or however long you want. And this time on wipe, you want to go both. And now it'll come in at both, like that. Also, there's some different settings they can play around with. There's feather, so the feather kind of adds like a blur, I guess. And if it, if you think that's too sharp, you can add a feather. The wipe center, so it moves that wipe uh, where the wipe starts, I guess. Uh, I like it in the middle and the start angle, so you can make it start wherever you want. So uh, yeah, those are different settings you can play around with. For now, I'm just going to use just normal, you know, settings. And uh, as soon as that ends, I'm going to move about. Um, yeah, so now uh, what you want to do is add the text. And the text that I'm going to do, uh, the font that I'm going to use is uh, called Bbass. I use this for my intro too. And I'm just going to type my name out. And I'm uh, just going to make it bigger by highlighting it. Just make it big making it a bit bigger and just yeah oh you can play around with this um, depending 
and how what text you're using and stuff making it like closer together or farther away and you just want to put it in the middle I'm not too, I'm not exactly sure how you actually center it perfectly but just try and put it in the middle it looks a bit off but whatever <laughs> um, and then after that uh, you want to apply the effect CC lens to this so yeah one sec all right, sorry about that. I just noticed that I set up my radio wipes way too fast, so I just want to quickly adjust that. And um, yeah, so sorry about that. Uh, so now I kind of quickly adjusted it so they're a bit longer. Uh, so yeah, uh, after that, you put your text in. You want to center it. So I think I already mentioned this, but you want to center it, and yeah, uh, after that you wanna as soon as the transition completes you wanna apply the effect CC lens to it so go to effect distort and CC lens and this will give it that explosion effect that you guys saw in the intro and uh, so if you increase the size to 500 right, it's normal go back to zero it's nothing but uh, so I start off at zero so as soon as the transition ends uh, right around here you wanna keyframe it at zero move about I would say a second maybe, maybe a bit shorter than that. Yeah, about a second. Uh, you can always play around with it and just increase the size to not all the way to 500. It's just, okay, it was kind of a quick tip, but um, what I like to do is as soon as you, as soon as it, like text is readable, uh, I, I like that to be really done really quickly. So explosion is really done quickly. And then as it eases in, I like it like I like it to slow down. So you'll see what I mean when I kind of render this out. Or ran preview. So I'll just quickly ran preview. So if you see now, it slowly eases in. So the explosion goes re really fast, and then it slowly slowly eases in. I think it gives it a better look. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to adjust the effect a bit. So let's make it a bit quicker by dragging these lines. Yeah. So that's, that's looking pretty good. And um, after you apply the CC lens, what I like to do uh, is apply another effect to CC lens. Uh, it's just a blur. And I think it look, makes it look a lot better. So what you want to do is go new adjustment layer. And on the adjustment layer, you want to add a blur. And I believe it's called fast blur. Yeah, and you want to put on a horizontal. I think it looks a lot better in horizontal. So uh, what you want to do now is, uh, when you see the text is readable, you want to start the blur. So for me, it's around here. And you want to keyframe the blur there at zero. And move it about when you see these white things uh, go away. So and they go off the screen. And you'll see for me, it's around right here. And just once you see them go away, just go about five frames, and just increase the blurriness to about I would say fifteen or twenty. I'm gonna stick with fifteen, I believe. Yeah. And so you have that moving in like that. Wait. Yeah, and then afterwards when it starts easing in, you want to decrease it down to zero. So what you should have here is this. It comes in and then it kind of gives a nice little blur. And um, I'll just play it right here since it's already rendered out and shit. You'll see this effect right along here. And it gives that quick little blur. It just gives it a bit better feeling, you know. I think it looks a lot better with it. But uh, let me see how much time I have. Nine minutes. Okay, I'm gonna have to kind of hurry up. But uh, after that, you'll notice that the letters coming in here were kind of going in like as they're typed. So just put your text in. I'm gonna make mine a bit smaller. About that small, maybe. I'm just gonna type in graphic design again. And just move it under my text. And uh, the effect that you want to put on is 
type called typewriter and um, so just go on effects and presets and just type in type writer and you want to put it on the layer and on so now you have once you or drop this down uh, drop down the text and you'll see animator one and just drop that down and uh, you go to range selector one and you have these settings right here so they, they've um, already keyframed it for you so you could either leave it like that and you can always speed it up like this or make it go longer like that I'm gonna speed it up just a bit so it's not too long probably a second or something like that and um, some other effects they could add or some other things they could do to the uh, typewriter thing is go to advanced and you can uh, put on randomize so what randomize does um, it pretty much just randomizes the letters for you so it just types in the random or uh, types in the letters randomly which is kind of cool uh, and there's some other settings you can play around with. I'm not really familiar with all of them. That's the only one I know. So uh, after you're done with that, uh, yeah, so types in and um, yeah, I, I guess I'll just share one more tip with you. Uh, what I did is I added a, I think it's called a radial ramp. I um, couldn't tell you for sure. But what I did is I went to new adjustment layer. I'm pretty sure I just typed in gradient. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's called ramp. Great gradient ramp. Okay, well, anyways, if you just type in gradient, mm, you should get this thing: colorize gradient. And uh, what I did is just made it white and black. So I made the start of color white and the end of color black. And on the mode right here, on the layer, on the mode, I put on to whoa, uh, overlay. And what this does is just, yep, boy, and um, it just gives it a ramp on overlay. Uh, you could always mess around with opacity, which is somewhere. But uh, what I did is give it a radial ramp, and I think I adjusted a position. No, I did blend with original, I put it up to 100%. So you kind of get a different color. But uh, I applied this effect. Uh, I was just kind of screwing around, but it gave me a nice outcome, I'd say, and also gives it a nice outcome on the blur thing, as you can see when I put it on full. It gives it a nice outcome on the blur thing. Uh, you could play around with it. Um, I'm I wasn't really familiar with it. I just wanted to try something new, and I got this. So uh, you can always add in your own effects, and um, I'm kind of done with the tutorial. So uh, I hope to help you guys, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if it helped you, please leave a like. And uh, also, I'm nearing 100 subscribers, and I don't know what to do. I, I want to do something for 100 subscribers, but I don't know what to do. So if you have any ideas other than candy, um, just put them here or just personal message me and yeah once again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later